Good flight. Come here. Good girl. Sit. Uh, over here. Face the camera. Sit. Good girl. Stay there. Front. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. G'day. So we're back out here with, we're filming a follow-up to our retrieving video that we filmed oh, good, coming up a couple of months ago now. Um, in that video, we basically showed you a bit of stuff with range, print and fly walking out in front and going further away. And I, we showed you flies retrieve, how it's not too bad, you know, and I trained her um, that hold, taught her how to hold first. Um, and we also showed you how print was absolutely hopeless at retrieving because I haven't done any training with them. Um, we said we'd come back to you and we said we'd start doing a bit of work with print retrieving. So today we're going to go over that hold um, and I'm going to show you basically what I've done with Fly to give her the good retrieve that she has at the moment. And the first step of that was teaching that hold. Now, the hold is basically a command that you say to the dog. You say hold and they grab the dummy. Um, I've also got a ball here. Um, and the hold's super important. As we went over in that video, I'm not gonna go over it in length here. Um, we'll link that video um, in the description to this so you can jump in and watch that first. Um, I talk about the hold, what it is, why it's so important in that at length in that video. Um, but real briefly, the hold's super important. Um, for getting your delivery to hand and so your dog's not dropping the dummy or if you're talking about training a bird dog so your dog's not dropping the bird before it gets to you. It's not about this poncy sort of thing where oh my dog has to deliver it directly to my hand. It's nothing, not that at all. It's very important to set up a proper hold and a delivery to hand because that's really the basis of setting up a good retrieve and maintaining it and then being able to do things like multiple retrieves. Um, when you're bird hunting, your dog might be already on its way to retrieve one bird and another bird lands by it right next to it on its way out and it gets distracted and goes for the wrong one and or it might, another bird might fall while the dog's coming back and it's got to know. You go out for that first target, pick it up, hold it, bring it all the way back, give it to hand and then you start the next one because retrieving seems super basic and uh, a lot of people have good retrieving dogs that get the ducks out of the water, bring them back, and they never really trained it. They just sort of took the old lab down and it just saw the duck and went out and got it, and they're handy. But um, as a lot of other people watching this will know too, if you've been mucking around with bird dogs for a while, you've had them, um, and you have problems with them, you can easily come up with problems too. So um, this is super basic, guys. We're gonna get into it now. Um, show you a quick couple of retrieves with fly. I'll show you another retrieve with print, the fact that he still that he doesn't do it, and then I'll show you how I set up a hold with print, who we've never done it before. Get fly. Good deal. Right, so I'm just gonna do a quick single retrieve with fly to show you that uh, she does know how to retrieve, you know, she's not a an incredible retrieving dog, but she can um, she can retrieve, brings it back to hand, it's quite tidy. She'll retrieve out of water too, and she can do it kind of, oh, I've done up to 200 meter retrieves with fly, and they're all in that other video, but we'll just quickly show you what her retrieve looks like. Stay there. So basic steady to the throw, she's marked it, where you go. Good girl, good girl. And she's brought it right back and she's holding it. So I can pat her and she'll hold it there. So she's, she's got that hold. <laughs> you weren't meant to put it down. Get fly, hold. Good girl. Good girl. So see how she put it down like that. Now, good girl. Good girl. So how I'm patting her like that while she's holding it, um, and see, you'll notice she'll actually actively, I can say hold and hand it to her, she'll actually act actively reach out to hold it, hold. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Fly. 
good gear. Now, how she dropped it there, that is actually a really good example of what you don't want to happen, what you don't want to let creep in. Fly, I've probably done, spoke about it in the other video, I've probably done about one hour, maybe two hours, all up working on Fly's retrieve ever. Um, when you're teaching, when you're training a really solid retrieving bird dog, you're going to do hours and hours over, you know, a one to two year period where you could spend years training a really, really good retrieving dog. Um, but, and I haven't done any with her for a while, but that example of her coming straight up, she brought it, she held it for a minute and then she dropped it. Now, if I pick it up and throw it again, as she runs out, She's gonna run back and she might drop it a second faster. And then she'll run back, drop it a little bit faster until she's running up and dropping it out there and letting it roll up to my feet. And then you keep snowballing that and all of a sudden you're shooting birds one day and the dog's bringing a bird back and it's still four meters out in the water and another <laughs> duck hits the water behind it and it drops that first one and goes for the second one and all of a sudden you've got problems in your retrieve. So what Fly just did there was actually a mistake, but uh, we're not gonna cut it out. And it's actually a good example to leave in there and talk about it. I'll do one more quick retrieve with Fly. Good girl. Where you go? Good girl. Hip flight. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So praising her for holding it. Good girl. Good girl. So that is just a, actually a really classic example of why the hold is so important and it's our whole starting point. I'll show you what print looks like trying to retrieve and how it doesn't work because he hasn't got the hold. And then I'm going to show you how I'll begin training his hold. Flight. Good boy, here print. Okay, so this is print. Now we, we went over this in detail in the other video too. Sit, we've got other dogs running around the park out there. He's quite distracted. Um, yeah, I basically haven't done any retrieve work with print. Um, as I talked about in that video, he's a dog. He's gonna naturally run out and chase a bouncing ball. That's just instinctual. But picking it up and running straight back, sitting down and holding it in his mouth isn't. Um, and until you've got that hold and that delivery to hand, you haven't really got to retrieve, and this is a perfect example of it. Um, try to get his attention off his other dog. Print. Yeah, what's this? What's this? Hey. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. 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 Where you go? Good boy. Good boy. Hip print. So he ran out, picked it up, put it back down, and come back. He knows how to, he's got a recall. He doesn't know to hold, he doesn't know how to bring the ball back. So um, I'll show you how I begun setting up Fly's hold with print right now. With real dog training, what we're actually calling now um, Palmico dog training, big game indicating dogs, the deer dog training blueprint, all of my stuff, we talk about pressure on what you don't want, praise on what you do want. So that would be if print tried to get up off the stop, I'd go up, which is pressure on. And as soon as he stops and he's sitting there, he's doing what I want right now because he's sitting still, praise on what I do want. So pressure on what I don't want, up. If he goes through something I don't want, praise on what I do want, good boy. And this is basic, this is boiled right down, this is what we're doing the whole time. But it's the timing and reading of that. So I want print to hold this ball, up, sit. So that, that's a classic case of pressure on what I don't want. Pressure coming on as soon as he does what I don't want. He wants to go and play with this other dog. We're gonna get him, show him to, how to hold this ball. So it, there's lots of different ways of doing this. And there's actually ways of doing this with e-collars and there's actually ways, it, it's called a forced hold where they actually, and there's another way, I don't use any of these methods, where they actually pinch the dog's ear and as soon as the ball goes in the dog's mouth or the dummy or whatever you're training, as soon as, so the dog's in pain while it's not holding the ball, and as soon as the ball's in its mouth, they release the pressure. There's loads of different ways of doing this. Um, 
like all of my methods, I just use a very, um, very subtle, easy, low pressure, and, and we just repeat it with good timing um, and just let the dog come on in its own time. So uh, I'll just start by, good boy, here, here, here. Basically getting the ball in his mouth, good boy. Here, ah, 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 good boy, good boy, ah. Good boy, good boy. Ah. So remember this is the first time I've ever done this. So all I'm doing is I'm trying to get the ball in his mouth by using as little pressure as possible. And as soon as he's holding it, I'm gonna start patting him. And anytime he drops it, I'm gonna ah. So pressure on when he's trying to spit it out. Um, and pressure off or praise, give him praise as soon as um, he's holding the ball. He's extremely distracted by this other dog here. I might actually just spin him around. Sit. Get his focus on me, cut it out. Print, ah, good boy. Ah, print, here. Sit. Up here, come here, good boy. Good boy. Just trying to get him to relax, get his focus a bit. Ah, print, come here. So this is another example of pressure on what I don't want, praise on what I do. Every time he looks back at that dog, ah, hey, good boy. And every time he turns back to me, I'll give him a pat, ah, print, hey, good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy. So I'm praise on what I do want. Ah, cut it out, good boy. Good boy. I'm just correcting him every time he looks at that dog. Because I don't want him distracted and looking at it while I'm trying to do this. Good boy. Good boy. And now I can give him lots of praise because now he's focusing on me. Ah, cut it out. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Praise on what I do want. I want his focus and attention. God, good boy. He's looking at that dog and notice how I just give him a command of disapproval every time he, cut it out, print. Good boy. Good boy. Right. Good boy. Yeah, yeah, good boy. Good boy. Good boy, good boy. Ha. Ah, good boy, ah, good boy. Hey, just relax, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. So the basic, ah, ah, here. The basic idea, good boy, hey. Good boy, ah, good boy. Just relax, good boy, no. Boy, ha, ah, no, good boy, no, good boy, no, good boy, just relax, good boy, no, good boy, no, good boy, no, ah, good, all I need to do Good boy, good boy. All I need to do, notice basically, all I'm doing is every time he relaxes with the ball in his mouth, I'm patting him. Every time I feel him pushing against it with his tongue or trying to get rid of it, I'm putting pressure on with the command of disapproval. Ah, no. And you're basically trying to get to the point where the dog realizes, oh, he just wants me to hold the ball. It takes a while to get there. And you actually get to the point like where Fly is, here Fly. Good girl. Hold, hold. Don't you want print slobber on there? Here, hold this, yeah, good girl. Here, flight. Hold, hold. <laughs> Here, flight. Here, yeah, hold, good girl. See how she grabbed it there? Good girl. And see how she'll grab it and hold it? Here, hold, good girl, good girl. 
good girl. So it's the command to hold the ball. It's very, very basic. Good girl. Good girl. Are you good? Print. Sit, fly. Get print. Come here. Good boy. Yeah. Sit. Sit. Stay there. Stay there. He's still very distracted by this other dog. Print. Yeah. Here. Hold. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Hey. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So you see, we got a couple of seconds of him holding it there. Print. Print. Good boy. So it's basically just a matter of trying to get him to hold it so we can praise it. Print. That's all I did with fly. And I'd do, I don't know, you know, I'm not gonna sit here for a bloody quarter of an hour holding the ball in Print's mouth. You know, it looks a bit weird and uncomfortable, um, but you can see him, he's still extremely distracted over here, just basically obsessed with this other bloody dog. It's just a matter of spending a few minutes a day here or there, doing that, practicing that hold, and as soon as, we'll probably, actually print will probably perform a little bit better now that that distraction's gone. Um, and you quickly, you know, I think with Fly, it took probably three or four couple of minute sessions of basically doing what I just did with print there. Good Fly. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Until they'll just walk up, and they actually want to grab the ball so they can have a pat. Good girl. Good girl. And then once they have that idea, that holding a ball in their mouth, while sitting by me is what I want and, I, and they want to get that pat, um, then they will, when you th throw the ball, they naturally run out, pick it up, bring it back and hold it right next to you and that's a retrieve. And that's how the hold trains that retrieve. Um, we'll have another quick go with print. Here print, here, hey. So that was a nice sort of, you know, few second hold there. And that's what, I've been working with him for two minutes on this. Good boy. Let's see if I can get him to hold it for a second more. Yep, print. Good boy. Yeah, hold it. Ah. So just a little ah every time he drops it. Hey mate, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Ah. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. And you're really trying to get to the point where what has just happened there, where um I can put it in his mouth like that, hold him for a minute, let him relax, and I can just pat him, even for your, these type of things. If you, you can go from where we started with print here, where he was really struggling, the whole thing he was just trying to spit it out, and it looked quite messy. Um, you don't want to get it in his mouth the first couple of times and leave him to hold it till he eventually drops it, like I did that first time there. Um, you're much better off, if I can put it in his mouth now, and he just holds it properly for about two or three seconds, maybe three or four, and then I'll um, gently take it back out and just keep giving him a pat. I don't want to, it's, it's, we talk about this in the blueprint a lot, you don't want to keep pushing the point and pushing it until the dog spits it out and it fails and you have to put pressure on it and put it back in. In dog training, you're always, when you're starting out with something like this, you're always just trying to work towards that point where the dog gets it right the first time. So when I'm, I'm training this hold, if I can go today in the very first session, five, 10 minute session, going from print, not even knowing what a hold is, to him struggling and trying to spit it out, to him holding the ball properly, me putting it in there, taking my hand away, him holding it while I'm patting it, gently removing it, it's all positive and I'm still patting him, that's him do it, done it right two or three times, the very first time, um, and we'll just leave it at that today, and then we'll come back tomorrow, it's a little bit easier, and the day after that, it's a little bit easier, and the day after that, it's easier, until by the end of this week, 
print will probably be like fly, and we'll just call him, he'll run straight over, I'll say hold, he'll grab it, I pat him, and he'll hold it very happily. He wants to hold it now, because he knows that's what we're trying to do. It's really, you know, dogs generally, fun things like this, retrieves, throwing balls around and that. Um, dogs want to do what you want them to do, it's just gently working with them, using reading and timing to get them to the point where they understand what we're trying to do. Um, that's what we're really trying to do here. I'll see if I can get one more. You gonna do one more? Hold, so I'm saying hold, hold, linking the action to the command, good boy. Ah, good boy, ah, hold, hold. Hold. Ah. 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 Hold. Good boy. Ah. Good boy. 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 Ah. Hold, good boy. So you didn't 100% relax there, but it was fairly good. I'm gonna try once more. You gonna face me? Good boy. Good boy. One quick, nice relaxed hold for me, mate. Ah. 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 Good boy. <laughs> nah, he spat it out. I pushed my luck for a second too long. I just want to get one repetition of putting it in, him sitting there, two or three seconds, and then me taking it out. Hold, hold, good boy. Ah, 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 ah. Man, I said, gave me one more second there. I would have been happy. Here, here, let's just get one. One more. End on a good one, hey? Ah, ah. Hold, hold. Ah, ah. Hold, print. Hold. I was just about to take it out. Good boy. We'll get it. Hold. Hold. Ah. Hold. 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 Ah. Hold. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So that's really what you're trying to get to anytime you're working with a dog where you just get and it, it's very easy to get frustrated, it's very easy to end too soon, it's very easy to try, you know, try a bit too hard, but you're really just trying to walk that fine line until the dog just gets it right, especially even once or twice. Um, and that was good, got it in there, he held it. I kept my hand away, I wasn't putting pressure on him, he just held it properly the way I wanted him to. And then I gently took it out and I give him a good pat, he's got it right the one time, that's all we're after. Good boy. Where you go? Whoa. So yeah, this is the real quick 
throw together video, you know, that we're throwing up free on Facebook for you guys, just the follow up from that last video. And that really is it guys, like the beginning of teaching a dog a hold, um, what you do need for a good retrieve always is, you know, it looks a bit funny putting the ball in the dog's mouth and the dog sort of trying to get rid of it and stuff. It's the first time he's ever done it, you know, it's a little bit weird. Um, I'm not putting massive pressure on the dog, he's not uncomfortable. He was just distracted trying to look around and he wasn't really interested in having this ball in his mouth, you know. But as you can see there, within a few minutes in one session, he was actually relaxing and he was holding it and we actually got to a good conclusion there. So that's really just all we're doing for now and I'll work on that. You know, I could do one session of that a day for about a week and print is going to have the beginnings of a nice hold. So um, that's it guys. That's, I mean, we'll keep making videos on this. Um, like I've said before, I might make a retrieving plugin for the blueprint at one stage. We've got heaps of stuff going on at the moment, but we just had this time today and um, we thought, hey, let's grab a camera and go and record that little bit um, on getting a hold started with your dog. We'll keep you posted. Cheers, guys. See you later.